how to turn Dollar Tree pool noodles into an accent cheer. Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree pool noodles and turning them into an accent cheer. Now, I drew out this shape about a year ago. I abandoned this project because I didn't know how to move forward with it. But then I designed something with a pool noodle and I thought it would fit perfectly for the shape that I had drawn some time ago. So now I'm just going to carve out the shape that I have right here on the chair. My wood is being cut like this because I don't have my cutting station set up just yet. So please bear with me. This is what we have now. And the initial design was supposed to be for this shape. And I'm referring to the one on the left. This one. I was gonna make that awesome accent cheer using that shape, but then I figured it might not be sturdy. I mean, this is a half inch thick wood that I think should be enough, but because I didn't really have more wood, I decided to just trace out the shape again and then use just the shape in the middle for the project. That way I am certain and I'm sure that it will be sturdy. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now that I got my shapes, I'm gonna keep them aside. Now over to the pool noodles. What I'm gonna do is cut this to the length that I want for the chair. And then after that, make sure that it's sturdy enough to sit on. I'm gonna use these little pieces and arrange them on the piece of wood to know just how many pool noodles I'll be needing for this project. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trace out the inner circle of each of the pieces that are on the wood. Now I forgot that I would need a little bit of the pool noodle and the shape to be outside just a bit. So I'm gonna be drawing another circle that's close to the first circle that I drew. I'll be using this to make my holes on those circles that I've just drawn. I'm basically just using my drill gun and then using a bit that can drill and make circles through wood. I did this for both wood pieces that I have. I'm gonna keep this aside and arrange my pool noodle, getting it ready for copper pipes. I'm gonna be using half inch copper pipes, cutting them to size, and inserting them inside the pool noodles to make them stronger for a chair. And I did the cutting with a pipe cutter. This went in pretty easy, but if you encounter problems having this going inside the pool noodle, you can add a little grease to it to make it a lot easier. I left half inch on both sides for them to go through the holes that I made on the wood. I'm gonna go ahead now and cover the pool noodles with a faux white leather that I got from Hobby Lobby.
I only use copper pipes where there will be a lot of weight on the chair, but then to minimize cost, I use PVC pipes on all the other sides. I'll be using a pipe cutter meant only for PVC to cut the pipes. I separated the ones that had the copper pipes from the ones that have the PVC pipes so that when I'm putting it on the chair, I'm only going to be having the stronger ones where there will be a lot of weight. Now, before I insert these into the wood, I'll be applying a strong adhesive on all of the tips. Now I'm just going to go ahead to have the pieces inserted in each and every one of the holes that's on the wood. I started out like this, but then realized I wasn't going to get it balanced enough for me to put the second piece of wood. So what I did was to ask for help and place this first one on the door to gauge it and balance it out while I insert the second piece of wood by the side. So it ended up looking like this. Now I'm going to fortify the sides again with extra strong adhesive. I'm adding tape just so that it would stay tightly in place while it dries. I left it overnight to set properly. And now it is sturdy and strong. So I'm just going to add more adhesive on the outer sides where the pipes are. I'll cover up this open spaces here with yarn. I got a hard board and cut out the shape that I want for the project. I also got a one inch foam and cut out the shape from it with a piece of wood before I had put on the pool noodles on them. I glued the foam to the hard board and made points for my tuts that are about five inches apart. Now I'm going to make holes on those points using a pair of scissors. I'll be using the same white full leather fabric on the sides. All I'm doing is locating where the holes are and stapling it down with a staple gun. I neatly folded the sides when I was done. I'll be adding a thick amount of strong adhesive to the wood before adding the sides to it. And I'm also gonna be stapling it down to the wood at the same points where the tufts are. This is the back of the chair. Now, because it's kind of visible from the front, I'm gonna to have to cover the wooden sides with white paint. And then when it was dry, I covered the back with a white board. I covered up the staple pins with crystal buttons. The accent here now is complete. Now I made this in a way that you can use it inside the home, but if you want this to be an outdoor cheer, use wood that is perfect for outdoors and you can leave your pool noodles bare with the colors that you like. This is pretty comfy and I love it the way it is, but I'm gonna recommend using a one inch thick wood for the sides instead of a half inch thick wood if you're gonna be having a lot of people sitting on it. I really love how the pool noodles with copper pipes were turned into a simple and unique accent chair. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.